welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Trisha for anyone that's new and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing an amazing order from Josh's Frogs because I plan to be doing a full-on enclosure setup for my tiger salamander Ponyo. He has been in this little plastic tub for the entire time I've had him now and it's really boring to look at. It does the job. It keeps in the humidity and that's great and fine for him but I just wanted to go all out and give him an amazing enclosure. So this order from Josh's Frogs is going to help me do just that. So, and it's so much fun always opening up these boxes from them. It's like Christmas morning every single time. So I'm gonna go ahead and open all of this stuff up and show you guys everything that I got from them because literally every single thing that I need to build this enclosure is coming from Josh's Frogs because they provide you with every single thing that you need. And you guys know I love them. Their customer service is on point and they are just so amazing. And they have so many different options of things that you can use for your enclosures and it's just so much fun. They have like basically everything for any project that you would want, reptile or amphibian related. So yeah, I'm gonna get to opening this box and show you guys what I got. All right, this is packed. All right, so we just have a little sheet with everything that I ordered. I think everything, you know what? I may be getting another order today. I don't know, it might be in here, we'll see. Um, all right. So the very first thing in here that I see is great stuff. So I have two of these. So for this new enclosure build, I plan to make a naturalistic background. I've done that in a couple of my other enclosures with like Metamora's enclosure. I've done it for my Crested Gecko and it is so much fun to make them. And so, and it just looks so good in the enclosure. Kiwi, my leopard gecko has one too. And so, Ponyo needs a naturalistic background, so that is going to do the job. And then along with that, we also have some silicone. So perfect, I'm gonna definitely need this. Oh my goodness, this is seriously like Christmas morning. So I was thinking about adding a little water feature into this enclosure. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it. I kinda wanted to see everything and then see how I'm gonna be able to set it up, but it would just be a small little water area. And for that, I would need a little filter. So we have a tiny little filter right here that should do the job. So I'm gonna have to check this out and see if it'll work because this is all just gonna be like a trial error thing. We're gonna see how it goes. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. And then of course we got our cute little thank you note. They're always so thoughtful and so sweet. And then over here, this stuff. I always get so excited about this. So this is Josh's Frog's bio bedding. And this is the substrate that I will be using for Ponyo and I will also be using it for the background as well. So we have two bags of this. This is perfect. I think I would have been fine with one, but this is actually, I mean, the more the better. It's so perfect. Alrighty, I think those are plants. We have another box over here. I'll save this one. My dog is upset if you can hear him, but he would just try to like rip this all up. He gets bark boxes and he thinks whenever I have any box that it's for him. So I'm really sorry that this is not for you, Chacho. So this is called a Rockview Cavern, as you can see. I'm gonna try and open it up to see exactly. This is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. All right, so this is really, really cool. Um, this would be something he could like tuck himself up into. I could put like a plant in here. It is kind of big. It's bigger than I expected it to be. So I'm gonna have to see if this will fit in the enclosure, but like they do love to burrow and I feel like this would be a really great hide. So I don't know, we're gonna have to see. Again, this is trial and error, but this is a really cool product. I really like this. This is really, really cool, very creative. And then we have our little heat pack, which is still warm. And then of course, like this is so sweet. So they do little um, like care guides for the things that you order. So we have a little one for plants. We have a little one for the isopods and springtails, which I just gave those away, but those are definitely in this order as well because it's going to be a bioactive uh, substrate for him. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and open these. These are the plants. I'm so excited for the plants. All right, so we have one of the plants right here. It is in great, perfect condition. It is every single time I order from them, so it's just so perfect. Really pretty. I think this would be great for a tiger salamander. And all of these, of course, are reptile and amphibian safe as well. Oh my gosh, this plant is stunning. So I believe this is a type of a pothos. Um, pothos is like one of my favorites because it's so easy to keep alive. So it just makes me feel safe with a plant that's going to not die. But look how beautiful this is. I love the colors. And here is the last plant. Look how stunning that is absolutely gorgeous i love the pink oh my goodness it's so pretty so i'm just getting so excited i'm sure this enclosure is going to look so gorgeous when it's done you can't go wrong with live plants all right so i just have one other box left that i'm gonna open and that is right here so and then of course i have the actual enclosure to open which i'm gonna do last because it's huge and i knew that if I took all this stuff out, it was going to fill the room up. So we will get to that next. And let's see what's in this box. Oh my goodness. Warm heat pack. Very nice and assuring. So we have the, what are these? These are the springtails. You guys need to see. And then we have dwarf. Dwarf. Dwarf Tropical White Isopods. So this will be perfect for the bioactive substrate that I plan to use for my salamander. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all of this stuff up and then bring the huge box in here so you guys can see the actual enclosure that I plan to use for this setup. So this box is like literally taking up the entire room. It's so big, but it's so well packaged. So um, I'm just gonna have to take this box out as you can see, there's a lot of stuffing. Everything seems to be good so far, but hopefully the glass will be okay. I'm just gonna try to take all of this stuff out and then take a better look at it. All right, guys, it is finally open. My dog is everywhere. I'm really sorry. He is so needy. You just need to be on my lap always. Yeah, my space heater is kind of broken, so that's why that's like that. Um, but anyway, so this enclosure is in perfect condition. There's no cracks or anything. I just have to take this stuff off, but I wanted to show that it is a medium low. It's a 24 by 18 by 12. Um, and it does have a little fake background in it. So I'm going to take that out and put a different background in and make my own, like I said. Um, and I just really like how far back this goes. Like it's deeper than I thought it would be. So I really appreciate that. I think that's gonna really help me have enough space to put a little water component in here. So I'm still trying to figure out how I want to design everything and I just have so many options and I'm so excited for those plans over there too. It's gonna look so good. So I'm just ready to get started on this project. So that completes today's unboxing video. I now have everything that I could possibly need to set up this amazing enclosure for Ponyo and I'm just so excited to get started. So thank you again so much Josh's Frogs. If you guys haven't checked them out before, you should get right on that because they literally have plants, they have enclosures, they have everything that you could possibly need. They also sell like frogs and amphibians and crested geckos and gargoyle geckos. They're just amazing. Everything is captive bred there. They raise their own plants. All the plants are safe for your animals. So they are just the best company of all time. I can't say enough great things about them. So I'm just so excited for this project. Thank you so much, Josh's Frogs. So some of you guys have been messaging me a little bit confused about the coupon code. The Reptilian Garden coupon code does still exist. It will save you 15% off your order, but it is a one-time use code now, so you can't keep reusing it over and over again. There are new terms to it. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you guys haven't shopped at Josh's Frogs before and you want to save 15% off, absolutely use the coupon code Reptilian Garden and you will save yourself 15% off your order. So yeah, go buy yourself some stuff. Oh yeah, they also have amazing feeders. Get yourself some hornworms for your animals. They have dubias, they litter super worms. Literally everything that you could possibly want, they have everything and everything is such great quality. So I love Josh's frogs. They're the best. So I'm really excited to get started on this enclosure build. Please stay tuned for the next video because I'm sure it'll probably be the next video where I'm having this enclosure set up, but we'll see. 
it's definitely going to be coming soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.